What's up, Thai Nation? How's everyone doing? Guys, literally, I am outside of Aaron Rodgers' brand new home in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, it's right. He's building a home right here in Nashville, baby. I'll let you guys see it inside. We're gonna do a whole tour and everything. And my uh, opinion on if Aaron Rodgers is actually gonna be a Tennessee Titan or not. Check it out right now. Tighten up, baby. McNair gives it to George, running right up the middle. Touchdown! It's a miracle! You think he's now you one on one with it. Shows why he's the man! In trouble! Sacks! So, Ty Nation, how's everyone doing? I am freezing. It is really, really cold, but this, guys, is inside of Aaron Rodgers' house. So, rumor has it that he's bought land and he's making a house. Well, here's the house, guys. Just kidding. This is some random house. But, let's talk about Aaron Rodgers going to the Tennessee Titans, if that's going to be true or not. Well, look, this is uh, going to be so-called Aaron's living room. You would expect um, him to have a lot more money. He would actually have a bigger living, living room space. Guess not. But like I was saying, Aaron Rodgers going to Tennessee. Does that make sense? Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a good choice? Do you think it's a smart choice? Uh, my opinion, the Tennessee Titans have has had a hard time getting elite quarterbacks, right? Man, this thing's going all over the place. I'm sorry, it's just it's cold. There you go. It's been having a hard time getting elite quarterbacks. As in, in 2012, you know, the whole Peyton Manning, you know, Peyton Manning was picking either the Tennessee Titans or he was gonna pick <clears throat> the Denver Broncos. Luckily, he picked the right team. Again, he made the right decision, won a Super Bowl with the Denver Broncos. I think if he would have gone to Tennessee, I mean, the offense would have been a lot better, but just the whole team compared to the general manager all the way from the general manager to the coaching, the staffing, everything about those the Tennessee Titans that year, uh, they weren't good. They weren't good at all. So, uh, good choice by um, Payne Manning. Now, if that's 0 for 1 already. We didn't get uh, Payne Manning. Then, three years ago, two or three years ago, there was the whole Tom Brady thing. Oh, there was news that Tom Brady was leaving the Patriots. Could he go to the team that just beat the Patriots in the playoffs, Tennessee Titans? I mean, he had Mike Rabel, who was a former teammate. Um, he had John Robinson as well. There was a lot of connections for Tom Brady in Tennessee. And then there was the whole, you remember the whole FaceTime thing? Where I think uh, he was FaceTiming Mike Rabel at a basketball game. And everyone, everyone lost their minds. Everyone was going crazy. 0 for 2. We didn't get Tom Brady. He went, obviously, to the Buccaneers, won a Super Bowl. Think that Tom Brady was the only, almost the almost realistic thing just because, I mean, the whole connection to the Patriots, Mike Rabel, so forth. I think he would have fit really, really good. And, man, if you, you just wonder what Tom Brady would have done for this Titans team within the two years that he was obviously with the Bucks, We can only wonder, right guys? You never know, we could have had a Lombardi uh, trophy. We don't know about that, but I think uh, with the Tennessee Titans defense, 
their offense not being too bad, Tom Brady would have had a lot, a uh, lot of ha had a lot of fun. As you can tell, Aaron Rodgers, I think is his second dining room. I don't, I have no idea, guys. But um, so going from that, we're 0 for two. Didn't uh, get Peyton Manning. We didn't get uh, Tom Brady. Next, now the news: Aaron Rodgers. Could we possibly get Aaron Rodgers? Now, my honest opinion, with the, his nice house in the back and everything, I don't think we could get Aaron Rodgers. I don't think Aaron Rodgers is coming. Again, guys, there's a lot of there's a lot of athletes that have a lot of money. Whoa! I almost fell there. <laughs> Tighten up. Uh, who have a lot of have a lot of money, right? Whoa! I almost fell there again. Woo! <laughs> We have a lot of money. Sorry, I'm getting my car because I'm freezing. So a lot of players do like doing that. They like buying multiple houses in multiple states. Um, it's not, it's very common. It's not something unusual and different. Now, I mean, some players want a, a beach house or want a, a condo. So they go to Miami and buy one. I mean, does that mean that they're going to be a Miami Dolphin? Or they want a mountain view, so they go to Colorado and buy a house in Colorado. Does that mean they're going to be a Denver Broncos? No. So, again, like I'm saying, it could just happen to be that he likes Nashville. He's been to that area probably multiple times, and he just wanted to have another house. I mean, I mean, I mean, I would if I had the money. I mean, but, you know, like me, I would probably have one or two houses in a lifetime. I mean, they have multiple houses, but... I mean, hey, I'm not a, a professional athlete as well, so. But that's what I'm saying. So I, I think a lot of people get really fixed on, hey, he bought a he bought a house, he's bought this, he's you know definitely gonna be a Titans. No, it doesn't mean that, guys. But on the flip side, we also have general manager John Robinson, and with John Robinson, anything. And I mean, anything is possible with this man. This guy will make a deal. If he needs to make the deal and he wants that person, he'll definitely make the deal. But like I said, I wasn't sold on us getting Julio Jones and John Robinson went out and got him. Yeah, last year I wasn't sold on Julio Jones coming to the Tennessee Titans. I just, I didn't think with the contract, I just didn't think that we were able to do that. And John Robinson, he did. He completely changed my view on, on how a general manager is supposed to run things. Man, he makes things happen. So to count Aaron Rodgers out and say, yeah, you know, even though, you know, he bought land here in, uh, here in Tennessee, oh, John Robinson can't make that deal happen. Uh, that's not true. So there's always that kind of that little hope in the back of my mind, like, hey, if if John Robinson is truly um, moving forward and trying to move without Tannehill, and he sees like, hey, I've seen enough of Tannehill, uh, it, it's time to try to to win right now. Remember that two or three year gap for the Tennessee Titans is closing for a Super Bowl run. I can see John Robinson definitely going, trying to get uh, Aaron Rodgers. And why not? I mean, obviously, he's going to be an upgrade to a Tannehill and stuff like that. Regardless, I mean, they fell short uh, this year with the division, uh, with the number one seed. Same thing uh, goes for the Tennessee Titans. But to say, hey, we have Aaron Rodgers, anything could happen. Can't count out. Uh, John Robinson on trying to get that deal done. Like I said, it would be an upgrade from Tannehill. Don't get me wrong. I love Tannehill. If we stick with Tannehill, we stick with Tannehill, and I, you know what? I'll ride with number 17 again. That has, you know, I have no problem. I cheered for Mar Mariota. I cheered for Blaine Gabbert. I cheered, cheered for Jake Locker, Matt Hassel. The list goes on. So, you know what? Number 17 will be another one I'll, I'll be cheering for. But like I said, J-Rob knows what he's doing. And if he could land that, man, that would be so clutch. Again, superstars are flocking, are interested in playing in the Tennessee Titans. Stuff that's never happened before in recent years. 
We're, we attract a lot of players now just because of our work ethic and our credibility to our players and the coaching staff. If you think about it, four to five years, back-to-back, -back, playoff runs, two AFC, uh, two, um, two AFC South titles, been in the playoffs, back-to-back um, -back years, good foundation, good work ethic, that attracts a lot of players, you know, regardless if it's a small market or not. That's how we landed, you know, unfortunately, I can say uh, Clowney, you know, Clowney back in the day wouldn't go with us, you know, Julio Jones. So players are, are, are recognizing that. It's nice to get a little recognition when you want have these, these people even considering the Tennessee Titans because they want a team that's already playoff contention, you know, one or two pieces away from a Super Bowl which the Tennessee Titans are. So, like I said, guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this whole Aaron Rodgers thing? Do you think it's just him just buying land because he has a lot of money and he, athletes do this all the time. They they tend to, to buy, you know, uh, multiple properties all over, all over the world. Or do you think something's brewing? You think John Robinson has the capability of bringing... Um, Aaron Rodgers to to Nashville to play for the Tennessee Titans and what would what would be the deal who do you think we'd lose who do you think money wise go 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 crazy in the comments it's fun yeah it's the off season guys off season's always fun a couple rumors here and there it's always fun to kind of pick them apart even if it's not true even if Aaron Rodgers doesn't come to the Tennessee Titans it's fun to talk about this so let me know guys thank you guys so much tighten up love y'all